Hello and welcome to another edition of the Avid Screencast. My name is Christian Förster and today I want to show you how to do a secondary color correction on a media composer. Now secondary color correction means that you apply a different correction to a specific portion of the image than to the rest of it. This can be necessary in a lot of situations, uh, mostly when you need different treatments for the skin tones than for the rest of your image. Now in our example here, we'll give the lawn a more saturated look than the person sitting in the chair. Now unfortunately only Symphony uh, has secondary color correction built into its color correction feature. So with the Media Composer you have to work around a couple of limitations, but it can be done without too much hassle. And there are two ways to achieve our goal. One is with a Boris Continuum Complete filter and one is with Avid's own real-time effects. And we'll do both. Now I've created a sequence with the image that we want to correct and I've put the exact same video on track one and two because we'll need two layers of video for one of the ways to do it. Now first of all we'll do the absolutely normal color correction that we want to do for the person in the chair. I'd say we'd give, we'd give him a more reddish, nice warm nice warm look here something like this without over cranking the rat actually and he's a bit overexposed so let's fix that if we can make it all a little more contrasty So let's just say that is the way we want to do it. And what we want to do now is change the saturation of the lawn. So let's do it with the Boris filter first. Open tools. Effect palette. Boris Continuum Complete Colors and Blurs is right an option or all drag and drop it onto the color correction. Go to the effect editor. And this will open the correct selected settings. Now this is nothing but a key with a color correction built into it. That's actually what secondary color correction is, right? So let's choose the color off the lawn, choose a representative color, something like that, and view the mat. You can see pretty much all of the lawn is selected. There's a bit of his face selected and quite a lot of the trees in the background. So let's choke the mat a bit so as not to change the color of his skin tones. And we also don't want to change too much of the trees because it will uh, look weird to have some part of the trees changed and the other part not. So let's use the built-in pixel chooser. Turn it on and say region shape inside rectangle. Now there's the rectangle and we'll just we'll just adjust that rectangle so it uses most of the lawn. Okay. So now let's go back to viewing the the output. And now we'll turn up the saturation. Whoa, that is one saturated lawn, <laughs> isn't it? And maybe also change the hue to give it a bit more yellowish look. Now I'm overdoing it a bit here. Now this is a very, very saturated lawn. <laughs> but as you can see here, it looks pretty decent. Now, if you don't want to use uh, the correct selected effect from Boris because it's too slow to render or for whatever other reason, you can also create pretty much the same effect 
with Avid Spectrum at. So again, go to Tools, Effect Palette, go to Key, use the Spectrum at, and Option or All, drag it onto the color correction. Open Effect Editor, choose the color, and again, watch the alpha. Now this is actually very, very nice. It does a very good job, I think, of going for exactly the colors that we want. Don't forget to turn show alpha off. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, if you quickly delete the stuff on video track one, you can see that the lawn and parts of the trees will be corrected. Now you could garbage mat the whole thing with an animat, but in this tutorial we want to do it pretty quickly, so I'll just use it the way it is. Now you can again use the color correction and color correct the stuff on video track one. So let's say we want to go for a more yellowish tone again. A bit more reddish, a lot more yellowish. And crank up the saturation again. And now let's watch the result. It plays in real time. We have a lot of noise down here, and also a lot of noise here. So better adjust the key again. Show the alpha. You can see in the beginning, yeah. There we go, there's a lot of noise there. So let's crank up the tolerance a bit, and also blur the mat. Watch again. Again, quite a lot of uh, noise up here, so you definitely have to garbage mat that. But you get the general idea. And if you, if now you look at the right image compared to the original image, we've achieved a pretty decent result. It looks better than in the beginning, I'd say. And all that without cranking up the saturation of his face too much as opposed to the saturation of the lawn. So a secondary color correction can be very, very handy, especially with uh, camera lights that give a completely different um, color to the, um, to the face than the background. That often looks horrible, and you can achieve pretty good results with a secondary color correction. So now you know how to do one, so there's no more excuse, right? <laughs> All right, uh, thank you for watching this episode of the Avid Screencast. If you like, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast at avidscreencast.com or on the iTunes store. On the site, you can also watch past episodes and give comments, but you can also drop me a line at mail at avidscreencast.com if you'd like you know, to comment on anything. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash avidscreencast and on Facebook, facebook.com slash avidscreencast. And if you'd like to know what I do in my day job, check out editguy.de where I promote myself. Again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.